starting off with our operations manager. Uh, this is he, Duncan, Duncan Ferguson. Uh, Duncan actually started off in forestry uh, a long time ago. He's probably uh, mid to late 40s. He's been on the river for about 24 years now. Started in forestry and then, and then moved across. And he became one of our bailiffs, worked his way up to being the head bailiff, and then I appointed him as our operations manager because I needed somebody to help with all of the works going on around the catchment. Every time Murray Council or Highland Council or Transport Scotland wanted to do roadworks, and this is the duelling of the A9, every time that has crossed a waterway connected to the spay, they've needed to be supervised to make sure that they don't pollute the rivers in so doing and also damage the fish populations. So Duncan acts as pretty much an ecological clerk of works, overseeing all of the river works throughout the catchment, and we've sent him on a lot of courses during his time to develop his skills in this. He advises them on method statements, just how they're going to go about their engineering works. He'll advise them on license applications with the Scottish Environment Protection Agency, and also advise to when we need to get involved with fish rescues. This is uh, one such fish rescue where we're um, stunning the fish using some electrical equipment and moving them out of these waterways so that the engineering works can take place without causing damage to the fish populations. He also gets involved in a lot of our habitat management projects. Uh, this is one we've just completed down here where we've opened up a side channel that was closed off over 100 years ago. Um, and we've reopened it to, uh, to spawning fish. We also get involved in improving former roadworks, such as this uh, culvert bridge here, which, despite being a simple and cheap method of putting in a bridge across the road, actually acted as a barrier to salmon and sea trout migrating up and down the river. So we've been putting in these works to alleviate that and ensure the fish can, uh, can move upwards and downwards. Um, I said I'd talk about our water bailiffs. I've got three full-time bailiffs, one part-time. We have a hatchery manager who is uh, a, uh, a part-time bailiff with us. He bailiffs one of, one of the rivers. Um, part of our role is the protection of the fishery, and our water bailiffs are all warranted. They are all qualified. They have legal powers of arrest, search, and seizure. And on a river bank, we actually have more powers than a police officer in the sense that we can conduct a search without a warrant. A police officer needs to get a warrant. We don't. Uh, we can search people's vehicles if we believe that they've hidden fish that they've taken inside the vehicles. If they drive back to their homes and go inside, we have powers to enter the property. So we're all qualified, uh, well, our bailiffs are all qualified and warranted to that effect. This was a whole... Sorry. <coughs> Uh, a haul here from last September, we caught poachers on a Sunday morning, spinning. Uh, we seized their fishing equipment, uh, fishing tackle, uh, and arrested one of them. They'd come all the way up from uh, Clyde Bank to fish the spay on a Sunday, uh, and we managed to, uh, to get them into custody. Uh, but our, our bailiffs also operate a patrol boat. As mentioned, we cover 20 miles of the coastline, and one of the reasons that we cover that is because uh, some poachers have the habit of deploying these monofilament gill nets here from the coastline straight out to sea to intercept the salmon as they migrate along the coastline. Uh, Richard, our, our head bailiff here, uh, operates this rigid hulled inflatable and uh, we, we spend a lot of time patrolling the coastline to deter uh, and remove any nets that we find. Richard is a former Royal Marine Commando. Uh, ex-nightclub uh, uh, ex doorman and an instructor in unarmed combat and restraint techniques. Really useful guy to have around <laughs> when you're dealing with poachers. So that's our law enforcement role. But beyond that, our bailiffs also spend a lot of time doing habitat management, improving the habitat around the area for the salmon and sea trout. This is Richard again, our head bailiff. All of them are chainsaw qualified uh, to remove obstacles from the rivers, but also Duncan here putting in some soft engineering uh, of uh, fallen trees to um, improve the riverbanks and protect, protect it from erosion rather than using rock armoury. They also get involved in, involved in fencing off uh, some of the tributaries from cattle poaching, livestock poaching the riverbanks and the banks collapsing into the rivers causing pollution. 
uh, and uh, and then planting trees along it as well. So we do have a uh, we do a lot of work with uh, with forestry, forestry commission, uh, and the estates along the river as well. So the bailiffs are not just law enforcers; they are uh, country managers too. Our hatchery operation, not all of the boards cover ha uh, ha involve hatcheries. We do. We have this operation in Glenlivet. We're just about to start catching up broodstock from the river. Last, over the last year, we've reared almost half a million fed fry, which we've taken from the tributary, taken the broodstock from the tributaries and planted out eventually the progeny into the tributaries when um, uh, the, the following September, uh, once they've been through the hatchery process. We also have a research team, a team of biologists. They monitor essentially the juvenile health of the river, the numbers of juvenile fish, the young salmon, before they migrate out to sea to make sure that, uh, that the populations we have are healthy. They do this either by, sorry, by electrofishing the river or operating these pieces of equipment which are called smog traps, intercepting the salmon as they uh, migrate down river to the sea to monitor their numbers. We take samples which we have genetically analysed to monitor the, the developments of our fish populations and we're also involved in a lot of educational projects in schools with, with a programme called Salmon in the Classroom. They also get involved in invasive non-native species. Ranunculus, pictured here on the top right, white butterbur, which is becoming an increasing uh, problem, this is on the river Fiddick, Himalayan balsam, and giant hogweed. Uh, and Brian, our head biologist, is spraying some of these. Um, he also gets involved in water quality. When we have pollution events around the catchment, our biologists are involved in that, monitoring what you can see here is actually dead fish. Uh, in the rivers as a result, perhaps from uh, a spillage from industry, such as distilleries and so on. doesn't happen too often, but when it does, we have to get involved. 